Hi, dorks. How's it going? Hello, hello, hello. Most chilled stream of the week? I hope so. I am pretty chill today. I'm pretty... I'm pretty low-key today. <laughs> Don't know about you. It's been a whole week. Um, yeah, I feel fine. Thank you. Yay. Um, Dwarf Fortress. It's Unchowder. It's Dwarf Fortress. Check this out. I opened the game and it was like, remember this? And I was like, oh yeah. I remember that. Everything's on fire. That's cool. Not that it really matters. Uh, this is a, a Forgotten Beast showed up right at the end of last stream and just lit the cave on fire. As you do. Been off all week sick. I'm feeling slightly better today. Oh, that's good. Glad you're feeling better. Glad you're able to take the week off to feel better. That's always nice. Um, yeah, a fire breathing something or other showed up. Uh, is this the... Oh, that's a corpse. Oh, it's... It is on the corpse. I see. It, they must have just... They just finished. The corpse is on fire. Hilarious. Um, and yeah, it just has the one kill. Is this the fire breather? Yes, the fire breather one. Not that that's too surprising. Just enjoying my limited paid time off before the government take it away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why is it going away? And yeah, I understand the limited time off woes. Anyway, um, I had the game open for a little bit uh, earlier today and I was kind of poking at some things. We have, we're kind of at the end of the larger projects that I've been working on. Our web farm is working. I've even turned it off because there's, look at all our webs. We have webs. Uh, we're probably gonna start cranking through our our web stockpile here. Um, government loves to tear up red tape. Oh yeah, I know the type. Um, web farm is essentially done. Our our garbage chute, I think, is basically done. You're you're throwing stuff away, right? You're yeah. Um, I so I think we got this minecart to to function reliably. Um, it has its departure conditions. People are still using the kitchen one. Um, but in theory, this this will just work. And I don't have to pay attention to it. I think it started working right at the end of last stream. Memory serves, and there's no there's not even any garbage on the on the tracks anymore. Well, that's nice. Um, oh, I also put in some wall designations just to close things off and, you know, close off things that we don't want to have people wander into. Um, things like that. So the, the tracks themselves will be completely sealed except for the top and bottom. Um, yeah. So I'll mostly I'll want to keep an eye on this one as it, as they continue to use it and we'll make sure that it works but um, I think it's basically done so now they just need to use it and catch up on all of our our garbage yeah and they're and they're doing so Zolban is here Momas has become an elite wrestler excellent dwarf government chat maybe goblin international relations we're gonna be we're we're um my goal for today is to increase our goblin outreach program. Or in reach? I don't know. I want them to come here. Um, oh, and fiddling with our, our textile industry um, is going to be a thing. Now that we have our our raw materials kind of, kind of set. Um, but yeah, I spent some time putting in some, some blueprints. You'll see. I have... I have ideas for three overly complicated goblin traps. Um, so you'll see there's kind of three different sections to this. They all kind of work similarly. Um, I don't have any of them being dug quite yet. Um, but we'll we'll kind of, I think we're going to do like one at a time. We'll figure it out. Um, but they all operate on kind of the same principle. Um, we'll, when 
when goblins are coming in, or whoever is sieging us, you know, humans, dwarves, whatever, mostly goblins, um, they'll come in, and typically they can just come into our courtyard and we hit them with axes and they fall over, and that's been good for all the small little sieges we've been getting so far. Um, but I'm going to have an option to divert them down into some more established trap constructions. So currently we have... Um, I deconstructed a, a wall that... Or not a wall, but a, a gate that was there. Uh, so that I can change it slightly. Um, but we're going to go... We're going to do this. And I'm going to make them out of jet. The main thing is it wasn't made of jet, which was wrong. <laughs> so I have to make it look good. Um, but I'm going to separate... These two were on the same lever, uh, but they're not, now they're not going to be. Um, for reasons you will see. Um, so what's going to happen is as dwarves come in, I'm going to close this gate. Leave this gate open. Leave this gate open. Uh, but close this gate. This is the entrance to our little trade depot, and this is the entrance, you know, what separates the trade depot from the rest of our fortress. Um, but they already built, so I designated a whole bunch of walls here, and they're already built, because 50 frames a second. <laughs> we're just, we're just going for it. Um, but that's fine, I want that. Um, so what's going to happen is, there's going to be a way for the goblins to come down this ramp, but not any further. So they're going to come down the ramp, and there's going to be some offshoots. Um, so you'll see one offshoot here, here's a trap, another offshoot here, this is a trap, and then an offshoot here, and this is a trap. And basically they will want to come in through the trap and then it kind of, they want to go through the trap area and then get through the end. And then they're going to go through this passage and each of these traps lead the goblin back up here. So there's going to, there's going to be like a whole bunch of junk downstairs that the goblins will be going through and interacting with and dying to in theory. Uh, but by closing this gate, we will be forcing goblins to go down this way, through our mazes, and then come back up right here. So they're not going to get that much closer to the inside of our fortress. We will still have our, our guards stationed up in here and dealing with anything that manages to, manages to get through. Um, we'll just hit them with axes because that continues to be useful. Um, but the traps themselves are each different. Uh, so first, this one, and each of these are gonna be kind of ex kind of experimental, kind of things as I saw, I read off of the wiki. This one is gonna be a minecart track trap of sorts. Um, instead of we don't have a whole lot of verticality to work with in this area, so uh, instead of trying to get ramps and and such. Um, this is going to be a one level, just a onesie level trap area. And I'm just going to dig, I'm going to make a whole bunch of horizontal minecart tracks. Like just each, each row here is going to be its own track. And there's going to be rollers on each side. I pointed inwards, set to go at max speed. Hello, hello, welcome. We're, we're talking about trap plans. Um, so yeah, bunch of bunch of tracks going horizontal, rollers on the edges, and the idea is that there's just going to be a whole mess of minecarts zipping back and forth through here, just bap, 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 bap. um that that goblins will have to dodge, and maybe they'll dodge, maybe they won't. I'm really curious to see how effective this can be. Hey, look, another forgot beast. Powering feathered cicada. As large mandibles, undulates, lemon feathers are fluffed out, but where it's poisonous vapors. Okay. You're in cave one. Cool. And you're just gonna go and, and fight the other one? Yeah, got it. Cool. Takashi's castle. Hmm. Did they just both die? Did you actually kill the glass bat? Oh, I was... I was hoping to keep that one. We're, this is way... This is way down below. They both 
just died, didn't they? And then you're the fire breather. And then Abaku are... Okay. They just killed each other. Aw. Our glass bat just died. That's unfortunate. Uh, was that... Asta? Forgotten Beast breathes fire. No. Asid. Mizpoo. Yeah, yeah, well, they, they died. Whatever. <laughs> Things are dying. Um at any rate. Um that's the that's the first one. Should be really simple. Uh one of the things that I read and kind of didn't realized before was that rollers can transfer power to each other um, in in circum certain circumstances so i'm hoping what can happen here is i can just have some uh gear assemblies here and then we'll have one tile rollers on each of these rows each of these horizontal mine tracks and they will just transfer power to each other all the way towards the end and i won't have to have gear assemblies and, and, and such. I won't have to worry about all that. So uh, we'll see how that works. That'll be an experiment. A trap number two is going to be our Forgotten Beast Menagerie. Uh, this is a, a pretty simple thing, but you can see our, our beast ways comes up here. This is how a beast could theoretically come up from below and go up to our surface. It just kind of comes up here and, and that would be their exit. Um, and that's how we kind of lure them into all of our different areas. Uh, so all of these are going to be beast pens. I'm just going to try and capture some beasts. We have, what, six here? Let's capture six beasts. Why not? We've had more than six show up in the last several streams. So I'm just going to I'm going to start catching them and just start shoving them in these, these holes. And I'm going to have these spaces directly above the beast cages. And these are just going to be big retracting bridges. Um, so goblins will come down the ramp, they will be able to come through here, and they'll be able to see that they could, in theory, go across this bridge, and they'll come up through here, and then through here, and then they would pop up here. So that's going to encourage them to cross the bridge, but as soon as someone gets to the end, there's probably going to be a, a pressure plate in here somewhere, and if there, you know there's a whole mess of goblins following in, the first one presses the plate, the whole bridge retracts, dumps, in theory, a handful of goblins down into the beast pen. And the problem solves itself, right? Uh, you just have a bunch of goblins and a forgotten beast together in a closed room. We keep all the doors closed. Goblins probably die. If not, we can take care of them after the siege. They're all just going to be locked in there and they'll all be separated into all these different sections. And yeah, if anything manages to leak through, again, they just end up right back in our defenses and we can hit them with axes. And then the third one is kind of a more traditional uh, uh, minecart shotgun, because I've never done that and I want to try it. So they will be able to come in through here. This will open this up and they will want to come here and come up. Uh, there will be stairs there and their path will take them back up to here. Uh, but we have uh, some fortifications here and a ramp, and we're going to build some tracks here. This will be the top. Apparently three Z levels is the perfect height for a minecart shotgun. Um, so there's going to be a stockpile here, and a minecart is stationed up here, and we're going to fill it with stuff, something, something heavy. And then I'm probably going to put rollers here and link it to pressure plate um, and we can even grab power from right here this is our this is right below our windmills so power is pretty accessible um, but then we'll put some pressure plates in here somewhere so the goblin creeps in pushes pressure plate door behind it closes hey we're saving uh, mine cart gets pushed from the top by the rollers it comes down and just blasts this whole little rectangle with spears bladed discs something um, and just, just pepper all the goblins in there. Um, 
and that should be useful. Yeah, maybe. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how that actually works. Um, I mean, all three of these are gonna be tests. Um, I don't know. It could. It's possible that all three of these just won't work. Well, they won't work the way that I think they should. Uh, and I abandon all three of them. But that's what experimenting is all about. So we're gonna try it. Um, yeah, that's the long and short of it. Anything in here yet? Oh, jeez, look at all that. Yeah. Yeah, cool. So trash is being taken care of. There's a lot less out here. Look how clean all this is. And where do you, you're storing an item, a silver bolt. Perfect. Um other things that are happening so I want to I want to keep an eye on this and make sure that you know at 75% it does actually make it to the bottom um, and also keeping an eye on here this I mean this seemed to work they're all probably taking care of all the garbage that was in here yeah that's much less I mean that's all food even so that's all fine um, I also made another overflow food storage here. Yeah, it's already filling up. Oh, goodness. All just gonna be food. You're just trying to haul rock salt? Okay. That's cool, too. Um. And yeah, what else are we working on? We're working on smoothing our fortress and making it look very pretty. I think we had reached... They yeah, were engraving on this level. They're practicing engraving the hallways in the in the barracks. Um, and probably getting okay at it. You're a, so Urvad, our scholar, is a talented engraver. And Udib, our herbalist, is a... Uh, Reaver. What are you... What's your... Stone cutter. Dabbling engraver. So yeah, we're training up a new engraver, but... Uh, he will he'll get there um but yeah also we're we're also smoothing uh we got all this smooth this all looks very nice we'll probably do so we got this level now this is like this is prepared meals and booze and it's almost completely full it's ridiculous yeah, keeping an eye on this. And yeah, look, the this stockpile's empty because all the garbage is taken care of? My goodness. Yeah. Yeah. That's... This is... Okay, this is looking nice. This is looking very nice. Um, oh, we should, we should smooth our hospital and such. That makes sense. Smooth all of this... Being careful not to accidentally smooth our tracks again. Um. No, yeah, we can we can smooth all this. That's fine. And then all all of this. That's all been smoothed. And then all of this. We can smooth all of the um our long stay quarters and our dungeons. Those can all be smoothed. Yeah, that's fine. That, that, that'll keep them busy for a minute. Uh, mayor ended a mandate. It is summer. Human caravan. Cool. I don't know that you have anything I want. But me as well. Oh, ooh, I forgot about the river. Clearly I forgot about the river. We'll have to do that in the winter and, and seal it all off. Or eat into our... I mean, I could go up this way, but that would be... Eating into our pasture. Well, don't have to deal with that right this moment, but 
Glad I caught that now before we floated our fortress. Hooray! Um, yeah, our merchants are gonna, gonna come in here. I want to get started on digging one of these. Let's let's work on I mean let's let's dig the space for for the forgotten beast cuz that's going to take a minute to, you know, like catch some. So let's let's dig this out first. I think that's a good first step. So we're also going to want to like dig out the roof and put in the retracting bridge before we put a beast in there because there is no way we're going to channel all that out with a beast just sitting there. So, yeah, let's do that. Let's say dig all of this and in order for them to gain access we need to open this door and that is totally fine because everything else is closed the only beast we have in our beast ways is trapped in our web farm that should be fine merchant skill just bring me wood And... Toys? I mean, we don't need food. I mean, I could try to import sand for glass again, but we don't even have magma furnaces and stuff set up. This lady is... Yeah, just wood is fine. Wood is fine. We should request our broker. We can close them in here. And open this one. Move goods. Uh, Two thousand worth of yeah, good, good stuff. That's that's a trade bin. Literally just things I want to trade. It's amazing. Got uh, some fancy pants. Literally one pair of fancy pants. Everything else is good. This one looks good. Yeah. Okay. Should be fine. Do not need much. Um, has this gone? Not quite yet. These are both set to go at 75 now. Because why not? I mean, did they actually clear up all the trash? I don't actually see any trash up here. But there's stuff that's been... that should be moved and taken care of. But not trash. So I'm gonna make this... I'm gonna make this smaller. Does not need to be that large do that. And on exports, that's fine. I also don't know why this insists on having bins. It does not need bins. Is it just... Mm -hmm. Okay. And you're... You're hauling that corpse, but you're gonna haul it downstairs for no reason. Okay, and you're reorganizing the trash. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, these the 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 trash stock piles can be small so long as we're caught up. Do not need the whole shebang. Um, okay, so then they should be able to get in here. Where's our, where's our miners? Um, do profession. Breed. Who do we, who do we got? We got, we got four miners and they're all pretty good. Wow, that's pretty nice. I'll get to it.
Okay, well then, of course, this is the one for the menagerie. this. I mean, I could... Let's say we're not doing any of that. Let's say... And we're just gonna be... We do, like, stairs. I just put in, like, markers for things. I just want a way for a goblin to get from this hallway here to over here to somewhere in here, which is a pretty, pretty limited space because of our pen. But we're probably also fine. I mean, it's not like we're overeating here. And this is what? That goes to nothing. Just straight up disassemble that. Uh, but we could put we could put a wall here, and then our path could just come up this way, and we could say, you know, like here or something, or even back here, so that they have to go through these these weapon traps even. Yeah. Okay. So what if we said here? We, we disassemble this, of course. Yeah. And then we'll put a wall... Like this. Or we could even just do like... Do like this. Still making our rock salt blocks. Very cool. So then we just come like this. Yeah, why not that? Why don't we just do that? We put a wall there. We wouldn't even have to come all the way across. We can just do like this. They will, the goblins will come so close to our pen and just have to like hear the llamas through the wall. That's their reward for getting through the menagerie. They get to hear some llamas. Yeah, I think that'll work. I think that'll work. I'm getting close. our squad's doing? They're still all fine, right? I hope and our miners can get here, right? I mean, they have to go through the defenses and such, but that's fine. You're socializing. You have a great need to socialize. You are making a wooden barrel. You are harvesting plants, and you are drinking. Okay, well then let's... Let's say that you are dedicated miners for the moment. Except for a bookkeeper, you can... You can... <laughs> you can double task, that's fine. Um, hopefully... Hopefully they'll figure it out. Um, but then there's also... This one. We also need to dig stuff for. Much less digging, though. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and tell them to dig. This and this. 
and this and this. And we don't care about this one no more. Yeah, okay, so that got dug. Something's getting dug. Got, that got me. That's. They are quick about it, that's for sure. Um, well then let's go ahead and designate. Or turn these all on. Those will go, and yeah, okay. Cool, yeah, we're digging. We're digging. Perfect. Um, the, oh, jeez. That already got dug. So ridiculous. Perfect. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if I can... Well, we'll figure this out. This is going to be... This is going to be tricky. Oh, because the one constructed ramp at the end is going to be the thing that screws me, isn't it? That's going to be the thing. Mm. Oh? Are you okay with that? That's... I would not have expected that to work with my previous knowledge. Um... What do we have? We need four, and we have four. Let's do that. So then that'll just be a fully constructed track. And it's literally just, literally just that. The minecart's gonna sit at the top, I'm gonna put some rollers here, and it's gonna push them down, and it's gonna hit the fortifications, and just bleh. Just gonna shotgun the whole, this whole corridor here. Um, so let's go ahead and dig that as well, and I'll trade while we're... Or no, our broker is sleeping, of course. That's fine. Um, but we'll end up putting like a, a bridge here, and then I'm also just going to put a door here. I can kind of close it behind goblins as they go in. Spinner's been possessed. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, and that got canceled due to water. Whatever. It's fine. And then... This is our seed stockpile. It's clearly larger than it needs to be. These, this, one, this one barrel has all of our seeds. It does not need to be that big. Another one! Hooray! Omos Munstu Ostrug Three Eyed Ankylus Sorid Broadshell Ravening Poisonous Sting. Okay. Okay. We haven't even linked our, our third cave layer up to our beast ways yet, have we? We're gonna have to do that too. Now that it's all dangerous. Is this... I don't think I have... Let's see, what is all this? This is all diorite. I don't care about diorite. Now, this goes up to cave two, so that's closed. So there's a corpse right there, because of course there is. Um, so that's all safe, and then that comes up here. Up to here. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. How's our... And it's still 55. Okay. And yeah. I'm actually going to open this. Remind me to double check all of our beast ways before we try to get someone in there again. Um, but if we come down here... Our third cave... Here, I am gonna want to do the same kind of deal. We'll do a um, not a ramp, a bridge. It opens like this. Um, sure. 
And then we'll do some doors because those seem to work just fine. Uh, door, door, door. Redundancy is good. And we'll put in some cage traps just to prevent anything from sneaking through. And that should be good. And of course, I don't have anything going further down, but there's like this stupid cave goes all the way down and there's like a forgotten beast all the way down here. Can you fly? It says it has wings. Maybe if we open the doors it'll figure out how to fly up and, and say hi. We'll see. Look at all these... All this stuff. You need to move all this stuff too, guys. Iron breastplates. I would like all that to be in... Of course. Of course. Uh, okay, so that worked. So then let's do... Uh, Spinner has created Otad Nullral, a Kalanite puzzle box. Cool. A child will enjoy that. So I'm going to dig stair like that. That should be fine. Uh, I'm going to link that bridge up to something. Something that's available. Shale lever. It don't matter which. Um, this is going to be... Uh... House wrap. Not gate house. Gate house. Five X. I'm gonna link to that one. How are the merchants leaving? Did we miss the merchants? We missed the merchants. Curse you, Momas. Whatever. Let's pull this. We can pull this. Everything moves so fast now. Or has been this whole time, I guess. Uh, somehow the Splatoon remix really fits this game. That's true. For, I've never played Splatoon, but the soundtrack is pretty, pretty good. Gotta say. Okay. So that worked. We want to do rollers. I'm just gonna go down. And the speed on this isn't gonna really matter too much because the the going downhill part is where all the speed is gonna come from in practice. But that's fun. Look at all this on oh, chalk. I didn't know we had chalk on this level. Chalk is good. Uh, let's go... Here. And we have a bunch of marble again anyway. Do you accept chalk? You do. Okay. Well, cool. it'll end up there. Um, and I'm like, what are you doing? You're gathering plants. You're pinning a baby llama. Oh, you... <laughs> they must have... Okay, I see. I see. We need to make sure that this <laughs> pen does not include uh, the goblin tunnel. Hilarious. Okay, that's fine. Um, I also want to... This, this wall has been here this whole time, and it doesn't need to be. Let's just do that. Um, only this this back wall is the only one that's like at risk of trees opening up the surface. That's why that was there. So I'm just basically going to rebuild a wall here and just do that. We'll call that good. We'll say all of this is part of it. There we go.
There's a leaf blower going. I don't think you can hear that. I sure can. The only brave souls standing between the invading goblin force and civilians are a guinea pig and a goat. <laughs> the last line of defense. Uh, this is all fine. Whatever. 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 Yeah, whatever. getting there. Rollers probably got made. And then I'm going to do... Mm, we're going to have to turn this into a gear assembly to bring power off horizontally. Uh, but then we can just do gear assembly here. You're all taking this route because you're dorks. That's fine, we'll fix that later. Uh, we'll probably put in a wall here, maybe? Well then, how do we access... Hmm... Hmm... I mean, we don't really need access to here. We can just close... Let's just do this. So in order to get to anything in here, they'll basically have to go through the kitchen. That's fine. And then machine, gear assembly here. The one below is still fine. The one above is still fine. That's good. Then we can do a horizontal axle. One across here. And that's all that needs. Right. And then... Uh, and then how do we want to load it? Because trap components and, and weapons and such can compact into to bins. Way up here is through the kitchen, right? Because this is this is the this, this is the path between the kitchen and the farms and the pen. So this stairwell is is really just for kitchen jobs, realistically, and farming jobs. Um, but we'll we'll have it pull double duty for loading our trap. It does mean. Things that get flung into the trap area will have to get hauled. You have to go haul it this way, but then you have to go down to the kitchen and then up through here. Yeah, that's a bit of a haul. Hmm. But we could do... What if we had like a door... Not a door, but like a... Uh, we could do a retracting bridge that is closed when things are happening. Why'd you stop? You were so close. Did I get made out of nether cap? Black cap? Excellent. Excellent. Um, but yeah, and then we'll have... A stairwell for our... Dwarves like that. I think that makes sense. That's much shorter. Um, like that. And then this will be the stockpile. We could even make this a bit bigger. So that works, and then we'll do construct a bridge. It opens this way, like that, like that. And this is all still. Yeah! 
Gifted subs! Oh, my thing even worked. Hooray! Thank you, thank you. Three gifted subs, wow. So, so novel. All the, all the new affiliate stuff is still, like, so new to me. Oh, is it just gonna... It's gonna do its little alert for each individual gifted sub. That's cool. Also, hello, hello. Um, okay, so that got done. So now we're gonna say construct stairs. I'm getting myself all backwards. Do like that. Rock salt. So that'll be our, our reloading. And then this one is the goblin path. That. <laughs> the king has been dethroned. Um, and then we want... We also want a bridge here. This is this way. It seems right. I think that's right. So goblins will want to come in here, and we'll come down here, and then this will be closed, so we'll have to come through here, and they want to come up this stair, through here, and back up here. So if they make it through the shotgun, they just end up right here. And then all of the stuff that was shotgunned, all our garbage, ends up, you know, just in here. And then dwarves can come ferry it from there to here. This will be the stockpile for whatever it is we are shotgunning. Um, shotgun ammo. And I'm thinking... I mean, what do we have? We probably have like a whole bunch of just goblin spears, right? Look at our, our weapons. Hopper battle axes. Hopper hammers. Silver spears, copper spears. What if we just made a bunch of copper spears? Or even like menacing spikes. And a lot of crossbows. <laughs> Look at all these crossbows. All these goblins keep coming with crossbows. Low guns. Swords, daggers, morning stars. Okay. Um, so we could make like a bunch of copper spears. We could also keep making our... Like we probably even have... A, a, a bunch of these trap components are in... Are in traps. Um... But like, yeah, we have we have a whole bunch of menacing bronze spikes and axe blades. What if we just, yeah, what if we just loaded those into a minecart? We called it good. Um, so we could say trap components, axe blades, and menacing spikes of any kind is probably fine. Oh, and spiked balls. We have like a we have like a an artifact spiked ball somewhere. We should load that into a minecart and throw it at a goblin. Let's just let's just do this. Let's say all trap components end up here. It's gonna take from their home, which is here. From here. This is uh, barracks ammo or not ammo. Armor weapons. Who's gonna be your lucky volunteer? Good question. You mean like for testing? Or... Hopefully we get some goblins at an opportune moment. Um, and then, yeah. So then this is gonna probably just gonna have a bunch of bins. Yeah. Now we want to set up a 
falling route, yes. Uh, shotgun. Target operator, what's the difference? Both might get a little unlucky there, that's true. I'm hoping, so this one I'm gonna hook up to, uh, I'm just gonna do a pressure plate and hook up to the rollers so that it's like no dwarf input. Like we're gonna reload it after the fact, but once we load and arm it, it's just gonna sit there waiting for a goblin to pressure press a pressure plate and go automatically. That's my thought. Um, so we're going to add a stop at this tile. This is the top, whatever. And then we're going to assign a minecart. We made a bunch of extras because we're smart. Black cap sounds good to me. Why is this? It's currently full of something. Oh, is this uh, is this the minecart that's just been had, just had garbage in it this whole time? I guess we'll find out. Um. How's our in our garbage? This so this one went. Our kitchen one's been fine, right? Nothing. Nothing weird happened here. Look, an empty butcher shop, an empty refuse file pile in the kitchen. There's no there's no garbage on the tracks. Did this just work? Are things just working here? And then yeah, there's just. There's not even anything... Yeah, cool. And then these... And then this is locked, yeah. And then these are operated by mechanisms, so they're essentially locked. Yeah. yeah. And what are you? What? Agitated Wolfman Skeleton, sure. Um, okay. And what I also wanted to make a little hatch covers for these just for the sake of it so I can lock them if I want to this all got dug on you have damp stone because of course you do this all got dug excellent look at all that we're gonna have so many of these stupid little bridges So then we're going to put one here. And then probably... How's this going to work? Most of this is going to be doors, because that's been the thing that works quickly. But we can also just do like... Like this on each one. And that'll for sure seal them in. Is that, hmm, is that necessary? Do I care? Bone Carver is fighting. Oh, uh, why are you fighting the minecart? Did I just immediately trap someone here? Zuglar, child. I know Zazit. No, you, you got beat up. Okay, this is already dangerous. Excellent. Let's. Where the heck is the minecart? It's not even... it's not even here. What is... Black cap minecart strikes the bone carver in the upper body. Tearing apart the liver. Ooh. That's not good. Are you okay? Where's our hospital? Yeah, there you are. There you are, Zuglar. Legendary Bone Carver. Just had your liver beat up by a minecart. That's cool. <laughs> no health problems. Lies. But confirms your first theory minecarts are indeed dangerous. Yeah, no kidding. I guess we knew that part. Um, I guess quickly. Oh, there's the minecart. 
Does it have a bunch of stuff? No. Oh, that's not a dwarf. I don't think so. I think this minecart just had some garbage in it. Spattered with human blood. Um, okay, so we want to hook this up. Well, here, let's... Let's just... Yeah, let's make sure no one puts the minecart back until we're ready. Um, but I'm going to hook this gear assembly... To, I guess I want to hook it up to a, a pressure plate, don't I? I want it so that the pressure plate pressed down engages engages the thing. Is that how that works? I guess we'll I guess we'll find out. But first, we need to make the pressure plates. Uh, so then we cut. It's a trap. Creatures do trigger, but citizens do not. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Gremlin to... I mean... I wanted to trigger on anything. Narwhal man. Ooh. Giant warthog. <laughs> If we get a dragon down there, then that's a whole other problem. But I'm just—I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put these here. Let's do that. So creatures trigger, but citizens do not. Creatures of any weight. That should be fine. And then all three of those are gonna be linked up to. The gear assembly. Well, hydrate, yes. I'm even going to introduce... Uh, I'm going to put in a, just a second gear assembly in here. Just so that I can hook that one up to a lever. And that'll be our arming system. Yeah, so let's do... Do a gear assembly here, or we'll do like that. That will work. And then we can have another. We replace our horizontal axle just like it was. But now I'm gonna hook up this one to a lever, and this will be hooked up to the pressure plates. So when we get sieged, I can pull the lever to engage this, and arm it. And then once the pressure plate is pressed, then it will get pushed down the, the thing. And we won't have to worry about setting it off when we don't want to. Because I don't want to do that again. Okay, there's our pressure plates. Oh, jeez. So freaking quick. I'm gonna link. linked to here and you get linked to there and then you get linked to a lever of which there are many what's left in here trade depot inner wall oh, there you you are now Minecart shotgun arm. That links to there. Okay. We also want to link up this gate and this gate to something. Okay. Oh, and we're saving again. Jeez. Jeez. So fast. A season, an hour. That's what we've been averaging.
Um, oh, I should probably tell him to start smoothing some, some more stuff, shouldn't I? And our, and this, this is still sitting at 57. And this is already at 57 again. And that's kind of what I expect. I expect that our kitchen garbage will be used a lot more, but that's also kind of by design. Um, there's, there's bones in there, but that's because our bone stockpile is full, right? Yeah. Or just about, just about. Um, cause that, the kitchen refuse can give to this pile, so this one shouldn't run out, but even if it does, that's not that big a deal. Hey look, some goblins! I'm not ready for you yet. Uh, here they are. We'll just deal with them the old-fashioned way. Uh, station the melee doors there. Put the guards on the wall. And then our, our safety... Burrow. Uh, I want to make sure it is not significantly different. Uh, this is all fine. This is all fine. Though I guess I want. Uh, this is also safe. Safe. Inside at least. Um, that is not. That is not. This is all not. Uh, yeah, do dwarves don't go here. We don't want them in here. Right now it's fine, but it will shortly not be. Let's do like this. I mean, this is just literally nothing now. Just a, just a hole in the wall. Um. Yeah, that's all fine. Uh, this is all safe, but we're not doing anything there. And then everything else should be the same. Oh, definitely want to, yeah, definitely add that. <laughs> Guess you can access the food stockpile while you're being sieged. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. That's fine. Our new bedrooms are good too. Our tomb areas. That's all fine. Like that. We're going to smooth all of our new bedrooms so we can start inviting new dwarves in. Yeah, that's all, that's all fine. Yeah, that's it. Welcome, goblins! Hopefully... Everyone runs inside. Uh, yeah... Of course, this is currently open, so I'm gonna... Let's do... And close this. This will close access to all of the traps. Very, very simply. We'll pull that. You can ignore ignore all of my constructions. You don't get to see them yet. Unless you sneak in quickly. Okay. Uh, I'm going to lock that, at least. Do you care now? Yeah, okay. There we go. And the river froze, and you're, you're just peeking in. I mean, that doesn't get you anywhere, right? Gets you there. That is does technically get you somewhere, doesn't it? But I haven't I haven't closed this yet. That's what I should have done. Uh, we can go chase down a goblin if we need to, but yeah, they're just going to come to us, so it doesn't matter. We're just going to hit them with axes. And it's all going to be fine. Perfect. Let's just have you... Confirm. Yeah, they're already running. Bad day, there are no gobos allowed in the gobo death trap. Not yet. You're early. Oh, where are they going? Okay. Oh, yeah, there's there's thieves rolling around in there. Okay, we want to make sure we get the 
Make sure we get the thieves. Where did this one go? There. Anyone else sneaking around? You want in my menagerie? I think that's all I see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> well, we get to christen our traps at least. Where'd this other one go? Oh, did you... <laughs> Someone died on... Oh, I should remember to close that too. Uh, someone died on the garbage chute. Wanted to pat the llamas. Z petting zoo is closed. Uh, where did that other one go? Did we get? Did we get that other thief? I want to make sure there's no thieves just hiding out. His name is Dang. Dang. No, look, yeah, they're in, they're inside. Hell. Yeah, they must have, they came in through, they came in through here, because they can get through here, yeah. Okay. That should be all of them. There's one here, but we'll, you know, take care of that right now, I'm sure. Yeah. So where, yeah, there's a thief and a goblin in in the food stockpile. Oh, there we go. Corner. Done. Done. Perfect. That could have been worse. Uh, yeah, caged things, guests, caged undead. Yeah, flesh balls. There's flesh balls in the caves. Uh, but we did it. So long as there aren't any thieves we didn't ever see, but I don't think so. We've been spotting the thieves pretty reliably. Uh, so let's pull that. And, oh, that's not what I meant. Let's test our, our new trash collection system now that we are caught up on trash when we start. So I want to see I want to see everyone take these co these corpses and just put it right into this minecart right here. So I learned that you can train elephants for war. Spoilers, they're actually deadly. The elves just don't know how to train them properly. Yeah, I've heard I've heard that they can be kind of gnarly, which is cool. You're... What are you all doing? You are defending that's not... Well, that's fine, whatever. Uh, store... Store... Clean. Store. Okay. What do we get? We got a martial trance. Bunch of snatchers. Bunch of combat logs. What was this? Oh yes. Oh yeah, and there's there's stuff in here too. They're all here. <laughs> here. Yeah. Okay. And then. Rest of them? Where did the the other two? We're down here. So yeah, they're there. Okay. Cool. Are you you're working on it? Kind of. Okay. <laughs> There's just someone died on the minecart. Perfect.
This is another soundtrack that I love. Cave Story. Cave Story was a great game. Great soundtrack. Okay. So now all of this, you're... Because this is set to take from, yeah. This hasn't happened yet. Do we note that death as success or accident? The one on the minecart track? That was that was purposeful. I mean the the part the placement was a little weird, but uh It was killed by a soldier. Okay, so I'm gonna pull the arming lever. This one this one hasn't been linked. This one hasn't been linked. We'll, we'll do those next. Uh, here. And these were organized at some point, but, you know. Uh, minecart, shotgun, access north. Hi, creature. Um. And then that goes to this. And cart shotgun access north. And that's gonna just be south. Uh, oh, the dwarves have arrived. Rare. These are all used. to there. Cool. Um, we can pull open Trade Depot access. Dwarves can get there. Yeah, they're getting there. Uh, broker requested. Uh, wait for this to go down. Yeah, cool. And then we'll move our goods. Probably the same ones from last time. Whatever. It should be fine. Uh, we can pull this one. Okay. Still at 57. I want to see you... All corpse... Oh, there's a corpse in there. I don't know if it died there or just has been moved. Um, and I think I think our current digging jobs have finished. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So then uh, we dig like that. Turn all of these into normal orders. And we'll do like this. We'll set up our, our actual ceiling system here before I actually open it up to the outside. Uh, doors, I want wood because of course I do. And I don't care about the wrist. Yeah, I don't care. You're yeah, okay, so you're putting corpses into the stockpile. That's step one, I guess. Um, and then our... Like, if these get linked... It's essentially... Testable. 
<laughs> if we can get it loaded. Um. Okay. So, yeah, so the power's going, but not being transmitted to here, so anything we put on the route that I'm going to add back now is, is going to be fine. It won't activate right now. Um. It's minecart. Hot. Shot fun. Keep typing. Add a stop right there. I'm gonna add a minecart. That one. What is? Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's all fine. Okay. One bombs over there. Uh, okay. So then this is just top. I'm going to link this to input from this stock file. And I'm going to say you want to have trap components. Okay, there's the minecart. And it's on inactive rollers. So yeah, I'm gonna... I wanna see... I wanna see that start to get loaded. Of course, there's just a random salt block there. There we go. Oh, what are we... Oh. These are cancellation spamming because of the forbidden rocks that are on top of them. Whatever. There, see? That stopped it. Now are we doing here? Still at 57. all getting dug. Yeah, okay, they're working on this. Very cool. I'm actually going to want to channel all that, too. Oh, well. Mm, I should have channeled it first. Oh, well. Um, we at least want doors in all of these. Because we have discovered that doors are great for forgotten beasts. In a kind of buggy way. But I don't feel that that's too buggy for me to exploit. Personally. Oh, we want to link that one up to something. Um, and we got all these. Incinerator. We have, we have exactly one lever left. Uh, so this is going to be... That's this one. Or no, I didn't hit link. There. We go. So link to that one. Okay, that's all good. Oh, do I see? Hmm. Kitchen garbage, really. See a bunch. See the goblins. I mean, some of them did die down here, so that's not too unsurprising. They shouldn't be hauling them from the surface down here. 
but there's even still room in this stockpile for them. Back from lurking. Hooray! All these? <laughs> All the goblin clothing. I want that to be cleaned up too, guys. I don't want all this just laying around. Any Discord call? Okay, that sounds fun. There's also... Yeah. Are you actually doing stuff? I feel like you're just walking around in circles. Update stockpile. Oh, you're the bookkeeper. Okay. Yeah, that seems weird. I don't think you're actually succeeding at anything. Good and a half of DF. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well... That's fine. Um, I'm tempted to say... Like, this stockpile will just say that it can't take... our trap components. Yeah. If I want to actually make traps, I'll... change my mind. ahead and pull this one preemptively to actually close off the danger part. And we can open this door. And we want to trade. Let's actually trade. Hello. Uh, you have a bunch of logs. And some instruments. Some buckets. Some shirts. Don't need bolts, don't need food. Uh, is this an actual book? Can I look at it? Well, let's, I mean, it's, it's a decorated bound codex, so it must be a written on book. So let's buy that for sure. And then our one crate is enough to buy all that. Is there, and there's not even a, there's a, a worn vest in there, but that's fine. Oh, and then that, and then, oh, see, like, the masterpiece trousers? I want to keep those. Let's keep... Let's keep those pants. Those pants in particular, those ones too. That's still, like, enough to trade with. That's ridiculous. This whole... Whole things also good yeah let's just give them a whole extra crate or uh let's trade with that one and then we can say this we just gift because why not we haven't really gifted much okay so that's closed you can still access all this Yeah, okay. That's fine. That's fine. Helped kill in the Ender Dragon last night on a server. That's cool. About 10 folks killing a dragon, but I flooded the end with snow golems. Beautiful. Huh. I've... So I know what... I know Ender Dragon, uh, but only from, like, watching videos of it. I've never... That's a thing in Minecraft that I've never actually done. Uh, mostly because it became a thing after I was playing Minecraft. I think that's what happened. So that was your first, that sounds like a fun first kill for that. Okay, so this worked. So let's go ahead and put in a bridge here. Um, and then, 
yeah, I want... I want this all channeled, don't I? What we can do... Do like this. It's pretty safe, right? Urbad Scholar! Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Our smart person is gonna do something fancy. Okay. That'll get them started on it at least. And then they can get to this side, but not this side yet. That's fine. I'm also gonna tell them to start digging on. This one. There you go. Tell them to start digging on our other trap as well. Since, I mean, hey, that's a small one. And then, yeah. And then that's going to be for power. Maybe, maybe we do like this. Let's do... This is so... Everything's so convoluted in here. Now, there is one aspect that I'm concerned about with this trap. And we'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it. Um, but we're going to have... Basically, it's just going to be a path that goes in, and then goblins go up, and then they're going to end up up here and up here. Um, but I'm going to have gear assemblies here that are fed from power beneath. And the wiki implies that having a gear assembly over a pit does not make a passable channel. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that goblins won't be able to come through and jump down the, the axle pit. But we'll we'll have to see. We're gonna use a chunk of our power with all this too. Um, so I'm gonna disassemble this one and put another gear assembly on this level. And then same kind of deal. We'll do gear assembly. One here, and here, and here. This still hasn't done anything, has it? That's fine. You haven't been loaded anymore. Hmm. All this worn stuff, too. What's Irvad working on? We have so much stuff just sitting in our... Oh, jeez. Ooh, Irvad! Ubergissen. Kalanite Amulet. Okay. Hi, creature. Uh, that can go in the museum, right? That's just a... That's just an amulet. Let's just put it here. A sign. Takes a second. Amulet. And it was made of Alanite. Are you computer? Why are you why are you being weird here? Okay. Here you are. Okay. Thank you, Irvad. And our kitchen trash just got taken out. Very nice. Um, I'm wondering if our... Mao... This. 
this is our gem stockpile. I'm just gonna literally move it over. Well, and our our gems, our gems can go over here. Let's make it make it definitely large enough. Uh, but then I just can just erase from over here, and then that's good. And then our finished good stockpile, which has way too much stuff, is gonna get bigger. Maybe that'll free up some some stiff. We're still, yeah, we're still getting weird on silk claw. That's all silk, right? The, the yarn is doing fine. No, I didn't, didn't actually let them out, did I? What? Moma's reelected. Hooray. Okay, and then yeah, gear assembly. Here. Axle like this. And like that. Here we want to do another another bridge. So many bridges. Uh, speaking of, we should put down more levers. I think I'm out of levers. All of the levers. You know what? Why not? Keep our mechanics busy. Levers. Um, and we should be smoothing too. This all got smoothed. This is all smooth. So where else? Do we have any actual spaces that we're using? This is not. This is. I mean, we we should smooth all this, but it's not crucial. Um, here I'll I'll put it on a lower priority even. Do, we'll do up to here. We'll do this. This this room is just going to be empty now. That was a corpse storage. Smooth. Smooth all the things. Yeah, we can smooth all this, right? Yeah, let's just do that. Then all these bedrooms or is getting complex. I know, right? Isn't it great? And it's working. No one's grumpy with me. Um, and let's just go ahead and smooth all of that as well. Obviously the, the constructed walls don't get smooth, but I think they can be engraved. You are a butt. Yeah. Yeah, that's that'll be fine for now. And then oh, 61%. They put they put a couple of corpses in there. Ugh. My goodness. We can hold a lot of stuff though. Wow. Yeah, that's all of the like organic garbage that we have up here. You making rock mechanisms. Okay. It just ask for a lot of levers. This one got made. And this one got made, so I should link up both of those. <laughs> now that we have levers. Oh my god. Did I get 
all of these. Look at this. Sethutha Melissa. An enormous thrush with external ribs. Large mandibles, squirms and fidgets, sky blue feathers are long and broad where it's noxious secretions. Neat. Where are you? You're immediately just gonna duke it out. Oh, you're... Someone fell off. Did you just... Did you just kick the other one off? But you can fly, so it's fine. Oh my god. <laughs> Omo just lost a fight with the ground. Yep. Yep. Uh, fight at the top of a cliff, and only one of them flies. Uh, so the predictable happened. I'm really curious why... I don't want to grab all this stuff. What are you doing? You're... You're a child. A new alpha into... And it's dead. <laughs> well, I think the challenger won in that one. I think the previous one... Couldn't fly. Um, okay, so then this is all... That all got dug. Oh, that's what we were doing. Before I was interrupted. Uh, so we're going to say this is... Uh, Minecart dodging trap access. And this is beast cages access. Or, like, trap entrance. Maybe that makes more sense. Okay. So then... Uh, this one goes here. Minecart dodging trap entrance. Link there. And then beast cages... I would name it Menagerie if I could reliably spell Menagerie, but I don't think I can without Googling it. So I'm not gonna. Uh, the entrance is this one. There. Uh, okay, and then... Why did... Two in particular? channel. The rest that got done. Um, but I'm just going to say we're just going to do these one at a time to make sure we're, we're being, being careful. And then we can put doors in all of these. Or, no, here's where... This tile is where the... Uh... Whatchamacallit? Pressure plate. Pressure plate goes here. And we can put doors here. And then... Hmm... I want to make sure I don't let any flying beasts out. That's important. I'll miss some of these. Menagerie, yeah. Um, I guess I can put I can put hatches on top of the stairwell. That'll that'll work. Construction of goods, whatever. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need more more hatches. Oh come on! Just say ten rock hatch covers, and then yeah, I accidentally clicked on adamantine ballista arrow, whatever. The silk plants or silk clothing. 
being stupid still. That's that's a thing to diagnose. Um, but we'll put. Uh, I guess I can even designate those already. Uh, and just. It's fine. Fine. Use filter. I could also put one here. Why not? There's also one there. And all those I can just manually lock whenever I want to. I'm assuming a beast can't stand on the ground and attack a door that's like up there. I assume you have to be on the same Z level to attack a thing. Okay, and then I want pressure plates, which are traps that creatures trigger, citizens do not. And everything triggers. I want one in each spot. Pressure plate, pressure plate, pressure plate. We're going to use so many mechanisms. Also, this is this is funny. <laughs> this amuses me. <laughs> I don't know what that symbol was. Okay, whatever. Did. It's getting closer. Dark's getting some cardio in. No kidding. It reminds me of like um, like Burger Time, like in like old school video games. I don't know. I've given them some weird, some weird game to play. Um, this got linked, so I can. Close it. Yeah, let's close. Let's close it. I should close all three of these realistically. Um, this is going to be minecart trap and trans, just so our naming is consistent. Uh, where am I? My traps exist like between all of my hotkeys. So this this is good. So we should we should pull this one. Okay, so that's closed. That's closed. So now we can dig that last bit. We're going to have to wait for them to come back to do all those, but then they're working on the pressure plates. Um, so the idea is a beast can come from below. All our caves are linked down this way. It keeps going down. And then I'm going to say... A beast has to come in. So I, want a, a, I want something here too, don't I? So I want them to have to go through so that they can get to here. Because then I can just shut them in. 
or no, that'd be fine. Cause then, cause if I, cause I'll lock them as they fill. So if I lock all of these, then something would have to come around and then they could just go in here and I can lock them there and they can go in here and I can lock them in there. So that's fine. That's all fine. I guess I would want I would want a gate here just to prevent something from going all the way around without going in. But why would they do that? I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that that's enough. Okay, here they come. And then this got done. I should close this. That all got linked, yeah, okay. And we're saving again. Hooray! I'm gonna grab some water. enough hmm. I already missed them all digging <laughs> oh well dig 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 oh they won't be able to place the doors until I give them access that's fine though um I'm also going to link this one to a lever so I can disengage that trap's power whenever I want. It's going to be this one. This is mine, cart, garage, and trap, power. Um, and that's going to be linked to here. Yeah, um, I want, I don't know, mechanism here assembly. One is going to be here, and then one is going to be here. And then we link those with axles. Like that. And then in here, this is, I haven't seen anyone suggest this as a trap. So this is completely experimental on my part. I'm gonna carve some tracks. I'm gonna go like this. Actually, this first level, I'm gonna say no in case it like derails or something. But each of these rows will have its own minecart. We're just gonna have a whole bunch of minecarts zipping back and forth. And goblins are gonna be like, I can take this, and they're not gonna be able to take this. Um, and then our way in, I guess we want these open for our access, don't we? Um, dodging trap, and then here. Min ash every trap entrance. Might as well pull up. So many alerts. So many things happening. So we're dying thread, we're spinning thread. We're dying cloth. Weaving yarn into cloth. Because we have okay. I wanna Let's figure out the cloth thing. Ugh. Cloth. We have all this. Look at this. Look at this. 
My god. We have so much silk. 600 llama wool cloth. And is it all... It's not all dyed. I think... I think dyeing is gonna be... The thing at this point. What if I say... Because we have a standing order that says only use dyed cloth. What if I say use any cloth? Does that fix the silk jobs? Oh, Momo's wanted me to make something. Rest plates. Dork. can be closed. That's closed. These are all done. Those all got dug. These all got made. Um, I thought I told you to pull that. Maybe I didn't. Or maybe it just hasn't happened yet. Okay. Jeez. Make silk sock. Needs one unused dyed silk cloth, but I said you don't need dye. So we're... We are dyeing. I'm curious if we've used all of our dye. Uh, that's a powder. A cow. Barley flour. This is all just gonna be flour. Yeah, 3,000 whip fine flour. Um, so we're using our dimple dye. Uh, we are we on dimple plants? Plant. Lump helmets, pigtails, cave weeds. Yes, 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 yes. We have a hundred dimple cups. Okay, so they should be they should be making dye. Paper crops, dimple dye, yeah, okay. So they are making dye. You are also making everything else. Barley and such. That's that's fine. That's fine. Still. Yeah, like the the wool is working fine. Sixty-two percent. Still, all this stuff laying around up here. Fine. Uh, okay, so that all got done. Still waiting a bit on these. Let's do rollers. So maximum speed. They're going to be individual one-tile rollers. My understanding is that they can transfer power to each other. And we'll find out. This trap is going to use a lot of power. That's fine. We have, a, we have some extra. I'm also saving a bunch by not putting in a million mechanisms. That's good. Your assembly there and there. Yay! Did I tell this to be pulled? Yes. Why are What are you all up to? Did I give you too many jobs again? Okay, well that got opened. I want to give them more smoothing jobs, but clearly they're all busy. Because I want this to be loaded, too. Hi, 
I just, I mean, I need to take metal types. Does that help? You, you're slow. You're hauling Chuck. Are you? Oh, okay, whatever. Yeah, you're making steel, but you're. Why are you hauling chalk from here? There's luck so much closer. Look at this. Why? There's also this one tile with all these bolts on it for no reason. Whatever. Um, oh, our waterfalls. Should we should we refill, refill our waterfalls? Maybe a little. It's always hard to know. Still, yeah. I'm tempted to say, let's do this. I want to set this to to fifty. Just so someone pushes it and I I want to I want to watch it happen. I want to make sure that it's all good. Just had a dwarf inherit the position of Baron in another fort. This is the first time I've seen it happen. Yeah, I've heard of this. Um, and now you have to treat them as a noble, don't you? They're not a baron of your fort, but they're gonna make demands of your fort. I've seen people with like a dozen barons in their fort because of inherited stuff. Someone's gonna come push the thing. Let's watch. Okay, okay. And we have all of our stuff. It goes all the way down. Yeah! Garbage. Now someone's gonna come and push it back up to the top, right? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah! Garbage collection accomplished. And yeah, it takes one dwarf a minute to bring it back up, but that's way faster than all those individual dragon jobs. Certainly not leaving. Yeah. You have to, like, actually kick them out if you want them to leave. Hmm. Lawless. Is there a way to start with a working fort instead of starting with just an expedition? Um, not really. Um, you can start... You can, you can reclaim a fort, but you go there with your seven dwarves and there's no population there. Um, you can't just like, you can't just embark to a fort with, with, you know, 50 dwarves in it and it's all working. That's what you have to do. Um, oh, and then I was gonna just take this back up to 75. That's fine. Reclaim forts do have workstations and everything set up already. Yeah. But not like, like all the work orders and stuff. That's all you. They won't have a functioning population there. Also download save files. Oh yeah, totally. People do, um... Oh, what are they called? Oh, dang it, what's the name? There's a name for people who... Succession. Succession forts. You can go find, go find yourself a, a succession group. We could make a succession group, for that matter. Um, people, people will play a fort for you know a set period of time, and then hand off the save file. And you can just have like a little group of people who rotate, and you all like take turns controlling a fortress, and then just pass it on to the next person. It's a thing people do. That got linked, right? That one's linked. Uh, we want another 
Another hatch here, because why not? Uh, yep. And... I am curious why all the armor and such just lays on the ground forever. But whatever. Um, let's put a door here for the sake of it. Some of these got made. Um, and then I linked this to a lever, right? I'm gonna pull this just so it doesn't eat all our power. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to our situation real quick. Not too much, just top it off a little. You don't want to run the pumps dry, you know. I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> I have seen a Total War series on YouTube where the content creator saves unwinnable campaigns. Someone needs to make this a series saving forts with tantrum spirals. Oh. Oh, like a like a like a Gordon Ramsay fort nightmares. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. That's a that's a fun idea. That's open. Let's let that go for a second. Big thing in Football Manager is to do saving saves. Uh, one of the biggest creators does that. Interesting. I mean, it's a cool idea. Um. Yeah, or like a a save with like an unwinnable siege. Like there's 50 million goblins out and you just you you don't you don't have any resources and then they're already there you don't have any time to prep that could be fun that could be fun i know um blind is a, a dwarf fortress creator uh, who does a bunch of stuff and he has a series where he just does community forts um, and I think it's just his viewers submitting their save files, and he just kind of does a quick tour. But it's like a 10-minute, hey, look at this, this is cool, a user made this, it's pretty. And then that's the conclusion. Um, so he doesn't really do anything with them, he just kind of shows them off. You could totally do something like that. Do, do a do Fort Doctor. Yeah, nothing's been loaded over here yet. Home is imposed a ban. I'm tempted to just, like crank out just a bunch of copper discs or something and then have all those in, in particular like show up here. What if we did that? Because we have, let's check our stocks. I know we have copper ore forever. It's mostly a question of fuel. We have we have iron. We hate you. Yeah, we have copper. We have platinum. We could just throw a bunch of platinum hammers at people. Be pretty funny. Um. Where's my where's coke? Yeah, we have coke. And then we probably also have a bunch of lignite and such. Playstone rock salt. Golden nuggets. Uh, bitumous coal 58, lignite 93. Okay. Okay. Um, so let's make some copper trap components for our trap. Um, yeah, I'm just going to say copper menacing no I just say menacing oh I see menacing copper spike there we go 
Let's make like 50 menacing copper spikes. The silk stuff is still being weird, isn't it? It's still wanting dyed jobs. Let's... Maybe that's stuck because... Uh, the job? Do this. So yeah, weaving thread into silk. Unused collected silk thread. So yeah, we've we've weaved all of our silk because I haven't opened our our farm yet. We have webs. Let's just do silk socks. Let's see if ten silk socks can be made. I don't know how long ago this was, but did someone mention having puzzle forts with a preset start? Um. We were talking about exchanging saves. Um, there isn't something really established that does that, but um, I was mentioning that people do succession forts, which is just, uh, you know, you're trying to keep the fort going, but you take turns with another human. So you just kind of, the, the save file just kind of rotates between a small group of people. And that's succession forts. And that's a cool idea, but then, uh, Baba Booey mentions uh, doing like a Fort Nightmares. Uh, I could do a like a, finding saves with unwinnable situations and trying to trying to work through it. I think that would be really fun. I think that would make a good stream. Okay, so they're cranking through all this. Um, let's, so I'm gonna say this no longer pulls from there. This is just gonna be trap components made of copper. All right. Whatever. It's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Should be fine. And then come back down to our other stockpile and say you do not take. Except this is going to take out all of the copper weapons as well. How does that work? Hitfox Games uploaded a new update on Adventure Mode progress and procedural faces. I saw! I saw! I'm so excited about Adventure Mode. Those procedural faces look dope, too. I'm so excited. Um, let's do... Or no, let's do, let's do this. This stockpile does not take trap components. It only takes weapons. And then we'll kind of split it in half here. Make sure it has plenty of room. Um, and then this is going to be a new stockpile that is just for trap components. And this will take only trap components. We'll do we'll do all, but not weapons. Nope. Trap components, but not copper. Doctor Chow's unchowable fort clinic for fort fixing. <laughs> yes, yes. Why not? If we could somehow, if we could somehow package this into into something that can be edited down into like a thirty minute video. I think that's a thing. Uh, forgotten beast, Meb the, a huge feathered click beetle. A click beetle has a fat, bulging trunk and undulates rhythmically. White feathers are patching, but where it's deadly spittle. Neat. Okay, let's see if this gets done properly. 
There's now no trap components go here. Trap components that aren't copper go here. And trap components that are copper go here. Yeah. Might finally be able to create a legendary wrestler in adventure mode to single-handedly win sieges and kill titans for me. That'd be so cool. That bulging trunk. <laughs> um, look, we have no garbage. Holy cow. Um, I wanted to come to our shotgun and say... You accept... Yeah, we'll just do that. Make sure that it can actually take whatever's in that stockpile. It is linked to it, right? Yeah, shotgun ammo. And there's no... Departure conditions? There's no departure conditions. No one's pushing this. This is operated by... Mechanisms only. Is this actually... Did I actually link it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, because it's li they're linked to the gear assembly, not the, not the rollers. Yeah. And that's the one for, for arming. Okay. That makes sense. It's just... If they, I just want them to load it. That's all that's missing there. This is making progress. We've made a whole bunch of hatch covers. This is I need <laughs> they need to do this, please. All those doors are there. Forgotten beasts are fighting. Don't fight, I want to tame you all. Oh, damn. <laughs> okay. Needs one, one used uh, dyed silk. Why? You don't, though. Standing orders. Use any cloth. Mom, the forgotten bees are fighting. Uh, so peaceful. Do I really have them? I guess I do want someone defending there. I guess. <laughs> Make them smooch. <laughs> Does breathing fire count as smooching? Hey look, another one! Nakam las doma, domos. An enormous blob composed of salt has a spiral shell and it has a gaunt appearance. We really need to start capturing some of these. This is a cave one. Oh, so there wasn't the this one was empty for a second. Okay. We do have a little bit more jet here. Why not? Salt swarm? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, there's a giant rat in there. Where'd it go? There's so many corpses in here. There's so many corpses in here. <laughs> I'm really curious why they're... Leaving all the junk out here. What are you doing? You're constructing. Oh, you're, you're, yeah, you're gonna go work on rollers. Because there's a couple of those. Oh, do I need to... Hmm. I'm gonna leave that closed. I'm paranoid. Okay, so this mechanism... Currently has 70, needs 75. Yeah, see, look, this is all, it's all one mechanism, except for the ones that are not connected. 
like this whole row are all connected just by the rollers. That was a stretch time. Someone left their hat. Here. No priorities. Oh. Iton, our other our other scholar, is now gonna make us something. I should like actually stand for stretching. Ugh. I should also learn how to stretch. <laughs> uh, I am learning that my My body takes some uh, special considerations, apparently. Joints. Ugh. There we go. Oh, and they did the thing. Okay. Yeah, this is going to take a lot of power. How much extra do we have? We do have some extra. Luckily, we won't need to run this constantly. We can just turn this on when we want to shove some goblins in there. Um, but we have... Now we're going to be a little short, aren't we? We turn off the waterfalls when we're being sieged. I like the rank attacks. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, 93. Hmm. Do I still waiting on a couple of these? So it's going to be six. It's gonna be 8 plus 93. It's gonna be the total. The 101. Cat moat. Because that's. yeah. I'm trying to see if there was a good cat photo in Discord to use as an unchowder remote, but not sure. Yeah. I can, I can try to take some more. Uh, some more Jezebel photos uh, with that intent. Let's see, that one's really good. That one's really good. I like the I like the motion of that one. Um, but that said, so this is gonna make us we're gonna be sh we're gonna be just short, aren't we? care about that stuff. No, I didn't mean to tap that. No, stop. Stop. I want my calculator. We're going to be using 101. We currently have 320. We're using 243. So we're going to be like 30 short. Hmm. Holy cow! The emotes! <laughs> I like... <laughs> Frog in a spin. Llama scroll. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the fact that it lines up like that. Oh my goodness. Uh, chemist has created a claystone scepter. Claims it as an heirloom. Okay. Man. So what do we do here? Do we just make this smaller so that we can actually power it? 
do I just like turn off the waterfalls during sieges? I don't want to turn off the waterfalls because that kind of drains them. Like all the water that is currently in the waterfalls won't fit in the reservoir. So if I turn off, if I turn off the pumps, I kind of lose some water. So. So I need this to take only 77 power. Hmm. Except it's going to take, I'm going to need... This one's disengaged. So each each mechanism takes four or five. Gear assembly. I even have it open right here. Five. So gear assembly takes five. So when, when I so when this is engaged, we're going to be losing another ten. Another, another 12. Hmm. I mean, I could just arm them at separate times. That's easy enough. Because the because the, the shotgun just... It's going to be on for a minute and then off again. Solution is more power. I'm so... But I, that would mean more more windmills. That would mean less, less air. <laughs> Like, I could fill the entire service with windmills, but I don't want to. I'm a, I'm, I am actively avoiding that, that answer. Uh, add some barriers and make the waterfalls a goblin-only splash mountain. Hmm. Chop the forest, light the furnace. I, I like my wilds, though. I like my forest. Um... Let's say, well, what would it look like if I if I limited this? If I say, that's an elf talk. Um, I am secretly an elf, yes. Um, I, it won't lead to Ents tearing down the fortress, I swear. Yeah, of course. I wonder, hmm. I wonder if they would bounce. I actually don't know. I turn on one half and then the other half. When moles are basically dwarvish trees, that's true, I guess. still doing all the things. Oh, our, our artifact. I went in this too. I need to I'm trying to pay attention to this. Almost done. Um, and we got a claystone scepter. And that will go here. Scepter. Look for laystone, and there it is. We give the trees purpose that way. I guess that's true. I mean, fire is also a purpose. Making soap is a purpose. Bedtime for me. Okay. You have a good night. Rest well. Thanks for hanging out. a shorter way to reach I mean I could come off of here does that help me at all not really
There we go. Look at all this. Perfect. Perfect. Cool. Now we just need to make a whole bunch of bridges that retract. Use walkable perimeter. I mean, you're going to have one once I... Hmm. To be able to stand at a corner. Fine. We'll put walls back in once we're done building. Definitely not opening that wall. We have over 10,000 food. Did our socks work? Those are all just shearing cancellations, which are kind of expected. Did the socks work that time? It must have. Okay. I don't know why they were having such a hard time with the dyed silk. Let's do this. Let's do silk vest. Silk cap. Silk uh, trousers. Silk glove. Silk sheet. Why not? Okay. So, as efficient as I had made this with all of, you know, saving all of those mechanisms, I'm still using probably more than half of it just on these axles. Because if it takes 90, if it takes 101 when it's actually built, and I need to make it only take 77. I need to remove 24, which means removing 12 rollers, which is six rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's cutting it in half. Other thing that we could do is we could turn these into little loops instead of back and forths. It'd be fewer minecarts. It would probably be less dangerous. But we could make these little little ovals loops, and then we would just need one. I mean, we could even t keep every other roller and get rid of half of them. What if we do that? Except... they wouldn't transfer power if they're not connected. We could have... oh boy. We could have a column of rollers through the middle and have them go, go in opposite directions. So like this is a loop, but then you have a roller here going that way and a roller here going this way, and then they would transfer their power. Hey look, some goblins! We're not ready for you yet! Our, our shotgun isn't loaded, right? No. If our shotgun was loaded, we could try it. Are they... How's our copper spike job going? Done? We have a whole bunch of copper spikes somewhere that aren't in their proper location. Yeah, menacing copper spikes, 50. 
And look, they're good. We have like masterwork menacing copper spikes. Where are you? And you're just in the forge. Hmm. Yeah. Why do you not? Why are you this way? My haulers are slacking. We need some dedicated haulers. The haulers a thing. Everybody does this. I mean, you. We're done needing dedicated miners. I think that's fine. No one else is dedicated to anything. You're. You're dedicated to engraving. That's fine though. You'll be the only one. And then haulers, we could just say like... I mean, what, will that actually do anything? I don't think that actually works that way. Hmm. We only have five children? I guess that makes sense. Hmm. Hmm. There's just a bunch of hauling jobs that need to be done, isn't there? Oh yeah, we're being sieged. I got distracted. Um, well, let's... Uh, we'll do this the old-fashioned way, whatever. Well, patrol. Um, and we have a dwarf patrolling? We don't currently. Where's our patrol dwarf? Are you, like, on your way? Yeah, patrol. Well, now, now they're coming. Okay. Um, let's close this so no one gets into the area we don't want them to be in, yet. <laughs> Hopefully that gets pulled soon. Um, there's not much danger of anyone getting through there. This... Wouldn't do much for them. I mean, actually, we're, we're probably okay as far as... Yeah. I'm curious. What are you going to try to do? No, nope, you're just... You're going to keep on this way. Oh, there's the thieves! Oh, and you're going to go that way. Mmm. Close this. Goodbye. You're gonna... You're just gonna be down here. Ugh, okay. You're... You're all fine. I just give a big kill order? Else. Who else wants um, seven targets? That's not bad. We haven't lost anyone, right? No. This is a that's a that's a melee dwarf. And you're you're up on the wall. Cool. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, there goes there goes those thieves, and they're gonna run. They've <laughs> definitely broken the siege. Okay, so now I want to make sure that that other thief gets taken care of. Since now there's a thief inside. Uh, Nako. Yeah. You. You should die. Confirm. Kill Nako. Um. So if they're all running, whatever. Neko Lyrasps. 
what are you even going for? Terrified while in conflict. You're you're at the very bottom. Oh no, you're going down. You're going to the caves? Why? You're just gonna get yourself cornered down there. So eager to be put in the lava. <laughs> yup. <laughs> cool. Done. That's everyone, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're good. We're good. There's garbage down here now. Okay. Now, now there's garbage up here again. And that's, that's it, right? Yeah, we're good. We're good. Let's open this. We can open this one again to get rid of our garbage. I do remember to just make sure that's closed when a siege starts. The song just triggered my cockatiel, now she's flying around chirping at 1.30 a.m. I'd apologize, but this whole album, I love it. A bird boy, apparently an artist. Should be How do I know which one I'm actually playing? Oh, it's over. There's there's an album. There's a whole album of, of bird song music. It's very good. Sorry about your bird, but you know. Okay, um, they appear to all be fine. Yeah, Forge Menacing Copper Spike, 50, completed. Where does that leave us? Still debating about this. This, we need to build some bridges. Build uh, bridges. But once we do that, then we can start catching things. I'm gonna take 13. Mm. I use, I think, I mean, we're, we're running low on rock salt. Um, I'm gonna use just normal claystone for these. through some of that. Take a minute for them to haul all that rock down here. Oh, duh. Cool. And then those will get linked to the pressure plate and then we will put the wall back. And then we'll catch some beasts. Put another pair of do of gates here just for the sake of redundant movement control. And then maybe even like here, just in case something gets through all those hatches. Yeah. 
And then what are you... Store item. What are you going for? Hauling a steel breastplate. This child is a legendary bone carver. That's cool. Hmm. Cool. You did a thing. I believe that's called a red flag. <laughs> We'll keep an eye on that one. And, oh, there's a bin. Hey, menacing spikes. They're showing up. Very slowly. I think they're just, I think they're just working on a lot of stuff right now. We're all the way down to 46 FPS. Holy cow. This is going to take a while. <laughs> Buck Rabbit has been found dead. Okay. That's all good. I've seen Fath with equipment mismatch quite a bit. Um, oh, you're, you can all be done. Look at your equipment. Because these ones have leather armor on purpose. And it's all it's all worn. They need to replace their stuff. But yeah, they have they have steel high boots, gauntlets, helms, and mail shirts, and then they have leather armor and leather leggings. And that keeps them pretty mobile. It's not too much weight. Look at all this masterwork steel stuff, though. Yeah. Look, another one. Can't read that. Hey, look, some fire. Which one's the new one? Ugash Shashinris. Enormous blob composed of flame. Three long curly tails and has a bloated body. Where? It's Sting. Oh. Cool. <laughs> the other one just got knocked off. That one flies, right? Is that the one that flies? Or is it just already gone? Caught in a cloud of flame. It's just gone. It just... that one's just gone. Okay, goodbye. Now you're just... and this one's made of fire, so it's just gonna... <laughs> oh dear. Um, oh, so this all got made, so we need to link this up. Yeah. Um, so this is gonna be... Cave three beast ways... Entrance. And then I'll link that to here. Do we get picky about which beasts we actually capture and, and stick in our menagerie, or do we just, you know, catch them all? Or six of them, at least. Yeah, they're getting there. They'll get it done eventually. I guess I should... Let's do this. Can, since they're hauling stones. Let's do this. If I were smart, I would start making... Blocks out of a different material. 
<laughs> Look at all your clothing. Dude. 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 A child, even. Nish and Arab. Okay. Yeah, what are people... What are people doing? We have so many animals to slaughter, always. Oh my god. Uh, a lot of storing... Yeah. Constructing... Yeah. Okay. Oh, store item, store item and vehicle is actually happening. Not, not that one. Okay. Okay. Well, what do we do with this? What do we do with this? How do we make this not quite as power hungry? I kind of like the idea of the rollers going down the middle. I would just have to just have to rearrange. Uh, let's then we have to unassemble all of these, huh? Can I just do like this? Nope. Symbol the cat. Do everything I told you to do yesterday. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna get rid of this. And then I'm gonna put wall here and here. I'm gonna dig. Or no. Let's not do that one. We'll put a floor there. And we'll say we'll dig up like this. And we'll put a wall here. And then we can channel this one once the door's gone. And then I don't want that or that that or that let's redo all of that and then we need to rebuild half of those rollers but they're gonna alternate directions we'll do like every other I don't have an even number here, do I? Go like this. Here, 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 here. 
here. And then we'll... Yeah, I can just build rollers whenever. Okay. Now. Tracks. Can I just do that? Yeah. door goes here and then the mechanism is there and the axle goes like that Take him a minute to do all that, but I mean, same story with everything else. What do you still know? Okay, well, we've made a lot of really complicated things and haven't tested them at all yet. Hooray! We can fill up that menagerie, that'll make a good thumbnail. And they should still all be sharing power. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'll just zip around in little loops. That should be fine. Go. Now we channel here. So this is going to be 30, this is going to be 30, yeah, yeah, this is going to work, this is going to be like just barely, this is going to use all of our power, cool, then we get a gear assembly right there, and that's the thing, right? Because we're going to have 33, 38, 38 plus 28 is 66. We're going to have like a whole 11 power left over when everything's going. So I think that works. I think, I mean, this will be a test of whatever I'm thinking of here. Minecart's going in loops instead of back and forth. Yeah, 66 power. So now we need to make... a bunch of minecarts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's just do wooden minecart. Make 10 more, why not? That's fine. All those silk jobs worked. Yes, that's fine. So I'm going to create a bunch of new routes, right? I'm going to add a stop to this route there. This is going to be dodge trap one. And we have the stop, and then we want to assign a minecart. We have one there.
I guess I could also, I mean, I could also just add more minecarts on the other side. And they'll just, they'll just be two on each track. Does that, does it work that way? Or can I? Only one vehicle can operate on each route. Okay. But, I bet you, I bet you, there's a 14 there. Because the, these hauling routes don't actually care about the tracks. Hey, ooh, shotgun's getting loaded. Shotgun's getting loaded. So 18%, oh, how many is that? You just put the whole bin in? Why? You... Dorks. Did I... I mean... No. Uh... Materials. I mean, what in here implies you can put a bin in there? You know, what if I do this? Don't you can you don't accept wood no more. I mean, though realistically, if it flings all the things out of the out of the bin, I don't care. Maybe that's the question. Maybe now that it has... How do we test this? I mean, I could just push it. I could just say, give it a manual push, and then I'll, you know, simulate what we're going for here. They're already... They're, well, they're loading them up. Let's say I'm gonna lock this door so no one has a terrible day. Now that this has a, a handful of things in it, I'm just gonna give that a testing departure order. It's gonna push, no, uh, push off south when always. We'll just see what happens there. You're gonna load another. You're just gonna load another bin in. It's ridiculous. You are all ridiculous. Okay. And nothing happened. Okay. Got it. So what if I... I mean, okay. First of all, we can say other materials, not those. Time to sleep. Thanks for entertaining us. Yeah, of course. Um, I'll probably be wrapping up here in a moment. But yeah, absolutely. Thanks for hanging out. I'm excited to see... I'm excited to put these into into use. I want to actually do the thing. I hope this. I hope this works. This is the one I want to work. I mean, if so, if this doesn't take bins, then that'll help at least. Um, I'm also wondering if I can just say dodge trap two. No, not you. This is going to add a stop here, which is on the same track. I'm going to add a cart and remove departure conditions from both of these. There. And then 
then this is the power. Yeah! Good luck dodging that, goblins! Oh! And that powers the whole dang thing. And look, we have six extra power. Yes. Yes, I like this. I like this one. I hope this one works. I really want this one to work. Let's, pull, let's turn off the power. <laughs> um so dang fast now let's go let's go back up here and then yeah they're just gonna like slowly slowly slow down okay yeah this is gonna work add a stop to here and add minecart And remove departure conditions. And then we're good. We'll just repeat that. And a stop to there. <laughs> this is going to be ridiculous. Uh, right, and then you need a minecart. Oaken minecart. Need no none of that. We have a stop and a minecart. Yeah, that's all. That's all you need. Stop. And a cart. And no departure conditions. This is there, and the mine car is easel. Departure conditions are none. I wonder if these could all technically be part of the same. No, because it's only one cart per route. That's the thing. You need one route per cart. there. This one gets a minecart. And that. That's really all it is. Here. How many more do I have? I only have two more. Do I need another three minecarts? This is ridiculous. Definitely never done this before. Boop. Boop. And 
another. There. This is built. And then, yeah. You already got your your thing. Or right. I have to wait for those others to be made. But that's all fine. I can just do the rest in the meantime. Masterwork Tower Cap Minecart. Cool. I want to get all these placed just so I can see what it looks like all running. Of course, I should lock the door so that no one gets stuck in here. This is this is going to be very dangerous. Oh, but look, they are they're loading. There are some actual... Oh, and some copper axe blades, too. Perfect. Okay. Literally just waiting on the last one. There we go. Bloodthorn. Perfect. Now people can just get locked inside. <laughs> I'm excited for this one. I definitely this is this is gonna be the first one we try. I think. If we can make sure that our our shotgun is actually working, then that'll be good too, but in theory. Okay, so I'm gonna lock this. I'm gonna lock this. And then I'm gonna pull this lever. Let's see what that does. Oh, I should have like. <laughs> Good luck, goblins. Spin. Spin for me. And that can just go forever. We have enough power to do this. Forever. And then we have extra six, which isn't like quite enough to also do this. Dwarf cart, yes. <laughs> it's perfect. I should have, um, I could have been fancy about the colors of the wood. So we could try to make like a, a rainbow gradient when they're when they're at rest. That'd be kind of funny too. Um, but in theory, what I'm curious about, like this is from a from a pathfinding perspective, from a goblin getting from where I am to inside the fortress perspective, this does not block your movement, right? So I'm hoping they will... Oh, I wonder if it's going to land exactly where they should be. Nope, they don't. Oh well. People are going to have to come in and reset all this, but that's fine. Um, in theory, the, the fact that this is happening does not influence the goblin pathfinding. Guardian cart, yes. Sentry cart. So they're just going to be like, hey, look, this is a room. I have to go from here to the other side. I just have to go from here to here. 
and then start making dodge checks. I'm really excited to see this. I want to see this happen. Late spring? We might get sieged soon. I'm probably going to wrap up here, though. Um, there, I mean, this is looking a lot better. I'm tempted to give this a test just for the sake of it. I built this I built this ramp like how I saw on the wiki and such, but I've never done it on my own. Uh, minecart shotgun is at 28%. That's quite nice. So let's just do a uh, a push south uh, always. Yeah. Let's see if it actually spills its contents. have to do some research on what's going on there. I do wish they would take these <laughs> bins out, but whatever. Hmm. Okay, I mean, and then how's our bridges? Yeah, we're and we're making progress here. Yeah, look at all that. They've been hauling stone very diligently, except for that one, for whatever reason. Um, but then, yeah, we're gonna start catching beasts. Could even do like, do a wall here, and then link that to there. And we're saving! Hooray! I'm curious if we're going to get Siege right now. If we get Siege right now, then I'll do it. But if not, then, then we'll save that for next time. Goblin junk in here. That's all good. Your your hauling honeybee remains. Your hauling honeybee remains. Okay. I don't think we're gonna get a siege. It usually happens pretty close after the season change. that happened quick. Cool. So in theory, we have a, a cage. I'll just, just lock all the ones that aren't done. Mm, I'm not going to do it right now. But I think we can open with that. I think I think next stream we're filling our menagerie. I want this. I want six beasts in here. I want to see them all in here. And I want to dump some goblins in. Yeah, I mean that should all be that should be fine. That should be fine. That should be fine. Look at all that. Okay. So. 
going to change my, my hotkey to be right here. Cave three. Yeah, fine, whatever. It was here. This got linked, right? Yeah. So we're mostly just going to want to open this up. Goodness. Someone's going to possibly have a bad time. This is a poisonous sting one. But it's made of flame. A blob composed of flame. Interesting. I'm sure goblins will have fun with that. Um, but then it's going to come all the way up. And yeah, can, and then it's going to come all the way up. And all the way up. Right. And I'm going to have to close that, but can't right now because we still need to open the wall. And then it's going to come across here and it's just going to bypass the web farm. Come up here. And then it's going to want to go from here to here, but it has to go through one of the cells. So I'll just close the door. And pray that none of them figure out how to open doors. I mean, we could put in some safety. Ugh, I think I'm just going to go for it. I think I'm gonna make a dangerous, nasty thing. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap up here. Um, but look, I mean, we made a whole bunch of really nasty stuff. We made this trap. Who knows if it'll work, but that looks awfully dangerous to me. Um, we've dug out our menagerie and now we just gotta start filling it with beasts once we have these bridges done. We've made a minecart shotgun, which does not currently work for unknown reasons, but I will work to figure that out. Um, I did make like a simplified version of what I was seeing online, but everyone else was trying to do fancier things like automatic reloading, things like that, like things that I don't care about. I just want like a one shot shotgun, see if it works and then be done with it. So don't, I'm not planning on dealing with an entire seed with one trap. I'm planning on, like, the seed is big enough that I can split them into different traps. That's the idea. So, yeah. Um, that's where we are at. Which is super cool and super fun and super awesome. Um, yeah, so... This was fun. Um, oh, um, I won't be streaming on Saturday. I'm going to stream on Sunday instead. For reasons. Um, I hope that's not annoying if I if I swap between Saturday and Sunday every once in a while. Um, but like weekends are a time to go do things with people. And some <laughs> I'm going to prioritize some real life things over which weekend day I do. Um, so if that is a problem let me know but that's i think that's kind of how i'm gonna go for it um default is saturday sometimes it'll be sunday and we can all live with that um so on sunday come by for more aliens uh more face hugging um i'm excited to to keep going with that game that's getting pretty good and um yeah i'm what i'm hoping what i'm hoping is that we will have you know, maybe about a month's worth of, of aliens left, maybe four or five streams, and we can wrap that up. And then something else is coming out in August. Oh my God. I was just watching a trailer for the new Armored Core. Oh my God. We're doing that. I hope you know. I hope you know we are doing Armored Core. I cannot resist. Um. Yeah. Hooray. Um. So that, that's going to happen once that comes out. Whatever whatever else I'm doing, when, when that game comes out, we're doing that game. Um, 
so so yeah um and then like Elden Ring DLC someday that's also gonna happen but in the meantime dwarves and aliens and goodness and get in the discord and push the buttons and have a good weekend and stay kind <laughs>